Hi, my name is Jared Trotter. I'm an applications engineer with Go Engineer, and in today's quick tip video, I'm going to show you some dimensioning techniques with arcs. We'll start with the blank part here and start a sketch on the front plane. We'll sketch a line, transition into our arc, and finish off with another line. We can, of course, dimension the lengths of our two lines. And now we want to fully define our sketch. To do that, we'll have to address this arc right here. Now the most common way to dimension an arc like this is with a radius. So if we apply a radius dimension, that leaves us with an angle that needs to be set. Traditionally, we might choose these two lines and associate the angle dimension with them. This would fully define our sketch. However, perhaps you want the lengths of all these segments to be shown with your dimensions. In that case, we can delete our radius dimension and replace it with the arc length. To do that, we use our Smart Dimension tool to first select the two endpoints of the arc, then click the arc itself. So now we have three dimensions in succession that represent the length of this curve by taking advantage of our arc dimension. One last thing I'd like to point out in dimension here is our angle. We currently have this set between our two lines, but we have the alternate option of dimensioning the arc angle. So let's delete our angle dimension. Now to dimension the angle through the arc instead, let's use our smart dimensioning tool again and grab the two endpoints, then the center point of the arc. As you can see, this gets us the actual angle of the arc, and our sketch is once again fully defined. That concludes this quick tip video on dimensioning arcs. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.